then just finding myself oh the tent is Darius and Mass Effect 2 on hardcore difficulty and that takes so much more time I got a new sniper the wiper about to RKO enemies out of nowhere funny enough I can RKO myself even a jumping one join that Wrestling camp, where is she? Somebody get down there and it's about time. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. Damn it! They got woman handles there, yeah, I don't know. Your I'm toe. working on one liners. <laughs> I'm probably better one liners than your toast. Come on. Get a good, just stun her a little hold. bit with that. Uh, oh yeah, again. Get my shield. <laughs> oh, you're right here. That's not good for me. I don't know yet if I like that gun. It's not that he will be coming around the corner immediately. That I won't be. Their feet. <laughs> Slightly lay for he dead. <clears throat> No, no, yeah, I didn't get that. Oh, come on, someone, throw her. <laughs> right there, that's where I wanted her. So I can finish off myself. <laughs> uh, <that was> my... <laughs> Cut it here and clip this. Oh, too funny. Guess I missed my shots, but damn it, I wanted to miss my shots. That's not per accident. What's calculated? Put them where we need them. Have to hear them squeal. More fields. More fields. Just so you sucked them off their feet. No, no. Good. Good. I don't like this kind of stuff here. It's in my way. In my way of liberating those towers. And the evil lady. Lives here. So I snipe my way through here. I could just do this. Oh, I just peeked around the corner. Ah, oh, don't let me fight. Everything. Good. I just picked around the corner and you know, it was over. I see, we're gonna have a difficult fight ahead of us. Ready up squad. Oh, I wish I had better abilities already. Here goes. Look at the explosives, he's already past us. Oh. Son of a bitch! Samara! Not again. Warning, chain failure. Go, go, go! I've destabilized them! Concentrate fire! Nobody runs! Nobody Very runs! <clears throat> Nobody runs. But everybody guns. About that one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I was just itching my nose. This will put them down. Watch out for those explosives. Come on. Hit him. Watch it. <laughs> Where she says it. Firing oh. now. Damn it, Shepard. Watch it. Oh. 
we'll get close to comfort. I dodged that goddamn shotgun blast. Perfection. Come on, put it down. I'll tear you apart. God. Everything needs to be upgraded, especially Zamara herself. She dies way too often, and I need ammo. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I remember. Tell me there's something good here. We can use this. Ah, okay. Top damage. We're compromised. Damn you. Careful. Let's just throw them off. Power. System Allied Force Casualty. Unit member off. I'll get them off their feet. You didn't. Requesting assistance. Do I get ammo? Yeah, well I'm not sniping. Off. Should be someone right here. Ah. Oh, I'm sh what you do? No one gets across that bridge. Oh boy. That one has killed one. Fall. Run off. Over I pulled them. That's a problem. gonna come oh. yeah and second now I will hold them oh no mind over map that's gonna be ugly this will occupy them Oh, That's not gonna be active for me, though. What the hell are you waiting for? Just kill them! Oh, it's Miranda. Ooh. God, it's rid of the turrets. Well, you got some shields here. No. Now let's Get finish you off. There we go. Oh. <gasps> no, why did I do that? Answer. Chop team. Staying alive. Night, night. I'll put them where we need them. Excellent shot. Oh, let's get to Samara. See who's Miranda. Off the veranda. Good. There's more. There's more coming. I believe. Can I save? Oh, good. Whew. I mean. Those are the first two recruitment missions, so it should get even easier. The hell is that dude doing? Night, night. Oh, she already oh, used some of her stuff. Them. That's not good. Oh. 
will occupy them. Night, night. Ah, oh, wasn't so clever. Damn yourself. This will break them down. I'll get them off their feet. You miserable shits! I'll tear you apart! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! 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 Damn it! So close! Side. I don't want to go in for the melee again. Look at her goddamn barrier. It's not losing Die. anything. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's it. That crap. Goddamn blaze work. Ten minutes. You good? I go over there. I believe the fighting is over. It's the last fight. Oh, I didn't remember Hardcore being that. God damn, Hardcore. Wait. Before you kill me, just tell me who hired you. Tell me. I was just writing. Who do you think it was? Screw you. Charming. Kill me then. I'm not playing your stupid games. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You still... You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who... Not bad.
Hello. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. You used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? Someone's been abducting entire human colonies. We're gonna stop them. We already know the culprits. A race called the Collectors. I've heard of them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You've built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Keep it civil, people. We've all got the same goal. Maintain the objective. Aye, aye, ma'am. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not.
Ah, I gotta cut it. Righty. Then we're gonna do the crew talks. Okay. Let's go with the crew talks. Commander, can I help you with something? For I get too much into personal stuff. I believe I've talked about that already. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds God. good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? God. Yeah, this is too personal. Just had that. I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results-at-all-costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. I don't like how heavily flirty she is with him. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. You liked what you saw, Mr. Taylor? I meant that you were an example of what we can do, Shepard. Commander. I don't want this to get weird. I should get back to my duties. Everything has to be perfect if we're going to survive this. All right, Jacob. Back to your duties. Commander. Uh. Uh. So flirty. Wait, flirty. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Something important. Tell me about it. Oh yeah, I can switch outfit. That's a new one that looks weird. I believe I'm gonna get rid of all of Miranda's outfits. The weird ones, I believe, are in through them. Not too sure, though. Not too sure. Let's go downstairs. Talk to the peeps. Fane, Miranda, Samara, in that order. Let's put everyone the friends on. On the. No, Samara. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Okay. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with them on Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. 
Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live, so it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Mm, no. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Okay. Somehow, somehow she's not very fluidy with drill or strike. Super fluidy. See how it's with this with Miranda. That outfit, outfit should also be gone. Now we'll remod her again. There's so much stuff for her. Commander, what can I do for you? Oh, talk. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man, and I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. Why gun shots? You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. 
The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool. What? Maybe. You already had that. Are who you That's, are, the difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. Why is that option? I'm yeah. great because of it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Let's ask her about the self-esteem again. No. Thanks for your time, Miranda. No, I I'll talk to you won't. later. Anytime, Commander. It's weird. Starting tomorrow. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Tomorrow. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. Sit down. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. I'm actually walking around in heels. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. Mm. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. No. That's so badass though, in my opinion. Oh, okay. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. More questions, yeah. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. You know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. 
Okay. I'm glad we spoke. We got our early squad. We're ready to go to Omega. Rescue Morden and Garrus and actually two things in the right order from now on. I don't think I can get Legion yet. Don't know. No, no, but Omega shopping. Oh, I say it. And say it, of course. It's also on the wish plan list. We don't need it.